Hey, I'm back everyone. Uh, caught us up for round two. Uh, they took a while to get ready for the next match. But uh, we're already underway here, so we're defending first this time. G1's to attacking first. So G1 posts the time. It's uh, just take an overhead view. Mm, I don't like that angle super bad. What about this one? Uh, but you can't see too much of what you need to see. We'll post up over here. You should be able to see almost everything you need to see from here. Yeah, that looks good. Hmm. So, Mission we're building up. I think. What's our NG doing? Where is our NG? Oh, he put a teleporter down. But where is he? I feel like we're wasting time here. Like, he could have been building sooner. Mission begins in 10 seconds. That might not have been the optimal build time. Oh well. So, here we go. Doxa's on the roof. Soldier jumps him. Uh, Soldier fake jumps him, apparently. Forces him off, but Clint, or Clint just gets back up. It's Clint playing the Soldier, not Doxa. He's at half health though, so he got pushed off and then a rocket to the face finished him off. Uh, window gets sniped by the other sniper, unfortunately. So now we're down two people. So this would be a good time for G1 to push in right now. They're up everybody. Uh, I think we got the spy earlier. Okay. The spy is moving oh, to get our teleporter immediately. Not sure if we call it or not, but uh, we're definitely pushing back out here. We picked off somebody, we picked off uh, their pyro. Uh, and the engineer just kind of like ditches here. Like, I have no idea where the engineer went. He's not here. And he was alive, so... I don't know why. He, he like posted off of his sentry gun and then it goes down immediately because no matter how much we push them out of Uber, all damage they do is permanent until the engineer takes care of it. We might have thought about using the rescue ranger this game, but uh, we didn't. So we move forward. Oh, we try and get a spy pick there, but uh, they were totally ready for it. Yeah, he had been seen in the area way too many times for him to get away with that. He probably should have just cloaked. I'd probably hide back there. But anyway, uh, they got three on the cart. 90 second cap. Well, 88 second cap. One second. Uh, now they're pushing forward to second. They have the cave. We gave them the cave, and we're setting up our level three sentry gun right now. Uh, who do they send to the flank? We have a soldier battle on the flank, we lose it again, that's not good. I get sniped from flank, so it's probably not happy about that at the time. Window gets pistoled out. The sniper kills and kills the soldier as well, or heavy as well, and then we get stabbed. Yeah, all, all their pick classes are just doing huge amounts of work here. Massive amounts, like I think they just, they just won them the round, I'm pretty sure. We finally clean up. But uh, we probably could have used our pyro up in flank as well at that point. Now it's just a really solid, like, even if AJD cloaks here, pyro's right behind. So, oh, does he just need to get him? They pop Uber way too, like, they should have known we were here. They should have known that we all died. And so, we just got really lucky there. Uh, let's see, they're doing a fast run into lobby here. Uh, Nick spots him out. He's got a spy on him, but we clear him out. Okay, to spy for pyro. It's an okay trade. It doesn't really benefit anyone, I think. We might need the pyro right now to stop spam. Where's our engineer? Oh, our engineer died. But, uh, so Clint's in the, in the shoots over here. Is he gonna find anybody? No. But they, they have, uh, they have lobby secure. Now they're going out to our platform. Now things look bad. Now things look real bad. Oh, well we got them off the cart, so now we're kinda, we kinda have them split here on platform. We had just rushed back out there. If I was in a better spot to, like, deal with people, here we go, finally. We get... Oh, we get a, a forced Uber out of us. Uh, oh, we stop everyone for a sec. Can we get the demo off? We stay on the cart? Yeah, so... Barely hold. Half and half right now. Oh, Heavy came in from behind. They cap it, though, in the end. That Heavy came in at the right time. Trying to bomb here. It's not the right time to bomb. Like you want to bomb into this hallway here, but you don't want to do it when the heavy's looking right at you. 
spies on our sniper. Their sniper's in the in the house, so yeah, he's just harassing our sniper out. And it's probably the right call considering how strong sniper is, especially at this point. We have a dispenser here, so it will be possible to hold from here, like force them to wrap around us instead of uh, just charge up the hill, which will take time. But 3.30 in three minutes, three points at 3.30 is a great time, really great time. Consider this, they, they took the first point less than their average for, the other, for all the other points. I get sniped here, get poked out, that was unfortunate. Not good. I think he was expecting someone to open the door from him there, but it didn't happen. So they're all they're all posted inside. I think he saw the the spy, in which case good job Golden Knife, but you chased him too far and died for it. We got their demo man, so you're gonna have a hard you're gonna be hard pressed to take out our heavy here. Yeah, they're ready for an Uber. I'm nowhere close to an Uber because I died. And we run out. We split on them. Golden does a good job pushing the back. Our spy is doing some work in the back. We got the NG, so at least we can flood in when the time comes. Ooh, great, great snipe. This is a great place to post up. Very safe, very, very safe. He gets killed though, unfortunately. But he got the heavy. We're really worried about their sniper. Their sniper was quite good this game. Um, I think we're just gonna get fourth to them. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Trying to do something with the spy here. The scout might, th might throw it up though. We'll see. Yeah, so he throws the milk at just the wrong time for the spy to turn around. So that was really poor coordination by the spy and the scout there. The spy could have gotten somebody and the scout could have like covered for him to get out, basically. We got a good cover on the heavy here, but he's gonna pick up the health back. Yeah, so this this defensive uber didn't do super much. In fact, we're down in players right now. We have to split, which isn't good. I think we have crits now. I don't know how he got a crit kill on Bayo there. Nick was uh, really far up, I'm not sure why. And yeah, Zach is just killing all of our members. Things are going too poorly over here at all, for sure. We're not in our rafters. Oh, this is cool. We're uh, posted up here to like try and drop down and get a kill. But they're, they're, they're like, hey, we want a really fast cap. Let's try and get it. And then the game's over, basically. Hey, we get their medic though, and our medic's alive. So if we can hold here, not die in the process. Is this the game where I... They really want me. Uh, but I survive. I survive with 22 HP. The scout tries to get on. We come in at just the right time. So, great hold so far. I have no idea if anyone's up in the right shoot right now. So, Pyro moves in. Great great job, Golden Knight. That's exactly what we needed from you at that point in time. We're holding below. We have a terrible sentry position because we're desperate right now. Spy in that stairway, he's gonna try and get a pick here. But we're like posted right on the card. We're like, you're not pushing this card in, you can take our top area if you want, but we have Uber and you do not. So we're gonna get as much time as we can out of it. So I think any like any last ditch effort to get the card right now is not gonna do them good. Was that spy actually here? No, he's actually below. Hmm. They're building in the back there, so they're trying to get to an Uber as fast as possible, and they're gonna get there pretty soon. So now they have it. Now they're gonna post up. Hopefully we can get a time of- Ooh, they have crits, so we pop with our Uber. Yep, yeah, wrong decision. The spy makes a back cap here. And we're all like, stop him! Stop him! But what's going on at the top here? We actually, like, get four, so it's not so bad. I think I fell in the hole. Yeah, I fell in the hole here. I could be alive right now, but I'm not because I fell in the hole. I'm glad I missed it, guys. And yeah, they're able to clean up the rest of us and take it for an eight minute cap time. Which is really good, guys. Really, really, really good. They did all of this in eight minutes. An average time for this, I would really say, is about 10, 11 minutes, really. 
so we have a really hard cap time ahead of us. I don't expect us to win this at this point, uh, but it would really be nice to get to like four points in eight minutes. So they kill three people there. Yeah, and he's able to get everything he wants up because of it. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Like, we should have had a dispenser in the beginning of this round. It would have saved us a little bit of a headache. And we, we just don't post on the sentry gun as we need to. Mission begins in 10 seconds. It's too bad the sentry gun doesn't have an outline. That would be cool though. Anyway, we have an aggressive spy on the left side here. We know they're gonna jump, but we really wanna like try and get them out. So we call the snipers on the left side, so window feels pretty secure in sniping right now. Wherever window may be. Oh, he's on the right side. So, he knows he's not gonna get sniped from there. We, uh... Oh wait, I was talking as if we're still defending, which we're not. We're attacking. We have two snipers right next to each other here, which is kind of amusing. He just gets pistoled down. This is why you shouldn't run uh, back, uh, Razorback guys. Like a competitive spy is not just gonna stab you. You're not gonna be in a situation where you're around a bunch of people and they're not gonna get stabbed. So we had to pop and I dropped below. So this is the bad thing I was talking about earlier. Don't go in the ditch because then you're gonna waste like your entire Uber and then you're gonna be stuck like way out of position and I'm glad I died there. This is a bad, bad, bad time for me. So now their medic's in the ditch. He makes the same mistake. So this is like, this is savable. It's half up right now. They're actually up two people on us at the moment. Three people now. But we have really fast uh, respawn times, so. They have to wait on their level one teleporter, which is a disadvantage. Heavy folks out and get them. I didn't realize I was uh, I was healing a spy for a second there. So then I said, hey, I'm gonna go fight him, but I wasn't good enough to fight him. Bayo was really mad at me, I'm pretty sure. So we kill the heavy now. So things will be looking up now if a spy can get a stab here. Preferably the medic, wherever that guy is. I don't know where he is. Where's the medic? I think they fell back. They shouldn't have fallen back. I died. Um, they should definitely be holding here. Instead, they're gonna bleed a little bit. Oh, they're posting in the in the cave, which I said you shouldn't do, and I think we're gonna see why in a second. I think we're gonna be able to push through it pretty well. Blah blah, galaxy phones are amazing phones. Blah blah blah. Gets caught here. Gets caught for sure. We get some milk on the heavy. That really helps support. So then we go in, uh, bleed out the pyro. We don't find this spy for some strange reason. That spy should have been a dead spy a long time ago. Uh, if, you if you reflect that, that's good. I was uh, worried about a spy here, so I, I ubered the pyro because I wanted to flush everyone out of the cave here. And that's exactly what we do. So now we have a little bit of space here to like do a cap. Uh, you should just go kill the heavy right now. Heavy demo. I don't know sure why you why you went all the way around. That's okay though. Gets the sniper. We don't. We were really worried about the sniper anyway. We get their cores anyway. So we got the cores and we got the sniper. Well, all but the medic and the sniper. Uh, get the scout. So now we're sitting pretty. Now we killed four people. Uh, only two are just back up. Oh my goodness, great great shot uh, window. He dies for it, but like, you get, you get the free kill. Golden Knife isn't really good this game at like following where a spy is going and putting him on fire as fast as possible. Like we can do it better. Zach gets our demo here. Uh, but I'm still up, right? Yeah, I'm still up. So we move down to the shoot. Oh, we actually dropped by accident. This was a total accident right here. And I died. It sucked. I really didn't mean to drop down there. 
So my map sense on this map is, is terrible. These are a lot of like common like medic rookie mistakes you would make. I definitely didn't play the best game of my life here. Oh, so we get we get this we get everything. We get the pyro and everyone else, and we get out with a. Oh no, we didn't get out, but so we're using a uh, Invisa Watch, not a uh, Dead Ringer. But here we go, push through shoot again, and the demo ends up, so they're gonna spam us out. Well, he doesn't know that we're here. We uh, we decided to post around the, the safer side with the health pack. Scouts on the silo, spy on our flank. Um, probably drop below, so don't have to worry too much about that pressure. We lose Nick, we lose Clint. Uh, Hat does a great job and kills the demo man here, crazily enough. And he's like capping on his own while they're like trying to wrap around us. So it sucks to be them. Good thing we got that cap. He's gonna die for it now, but it was totally worth it, 100%. Hey, he gets some, uh, gets some good, gets some good shots there. It's the pyro for the for the NG, not the best trade. So we're like, uh, we're trying to prevent to stop you from uh, throwing your stuff up, and Nick does the really smart thing and gets two air pipes in a row there, after dropping stickies uh, right beneath them, and we get it, which is amazing. Soldier comes on our flank, but he's uh. We survive. Spy tries to drop on us too, and now the scout's gonna try, but it's not all at once. It's like sequential, like, aggression. The scout's really far behind, now that I think about it. Probably the wrong call, because now we're so far ahead. Yes, so like, all that time he's been running to us is now totally wasted. So here we go, two minutes to capture two more points is not undoable, especially when you get the medic just like that. So we're at almost at 100, we're at 90 right now. Healing up everyone as we go. All that damage that the heavy takes. Oh, where's the snipes though? The snipes is what we're really worried about at the moment. Oh, he's up on he's up on the box. So we didn't we didn't clean him out correctly. We should have got him. Nick is really focused up here, rightfully so. Um, the pyro right now should be the one focusing the sniper in this situation. He's not gonna be able to do much to that big clusterfuck of people. I was really worried about dying to this dying to the snipes there. So we force him back, and uh, we get a pick on the heavy. Oh, but we lose our heavy too. Crap. Still, things are looking up right now, and to cap this in 100 seconds is possible, but we gotta get uh, the sniper out of there. Their pick classes are just rolling, rolling, rolling us. Like, I should've seen that guy. Uh, did I get some mover off of him? Pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I got at least one. So it actually works out in our favor. He silly tries to kill me. Ah oh, man, soldier posted up there got me. Just too much pressure everywhere. I didn't think about this window. I gotta think about this window more because I ignore it too much. Anyway, soldier's on our left flank here. Doing a good job just popping in and out. Uh, he's holding the door open. Strange. Not trying to get behind us, but like. We were really confused as to like how we got in that room, and then like how are we gonna keep going through that room? It was really strange. Bad map sense, guys. We should have known either there was like a spy or the door glitched, or there was somebody nearby. So there's scouts like getting way behind us, which we're kind of okay with at this point. We know it's gonna make our sniping like have to be more aggressive, but we need to be aggressive anyway. So having a sniper all the way behind us is fine. Pyro gets picked there. We get wrapped around here, and there's not much I could do. They have Uber now, and we have like 15 seconds, so this game's pretty much over unless we can get like a miracle spy cap or something. And even still, there's that sentry gun, which is like impossible to deal with, so. So GG. G1 definitely played a lot better than us. Like, a lot better. But it was a good learning experience for me. I remember playing this game and, uh... Really not feeling confident in my medic after that. But, you know, you have to take some big losses to know what you're doing wrong. I certainly was fighting the spy too much. I got picked by the spy probably more than I should have. 
Or the spy would come in and get a good pick almost every time he went for one, so. When we were able to handle the spy, things got a little bit better. And when we weren't able to handle him, things kind of got a little bit out of control. So I think, like, you can't really deal with the sniper more. Maybe we could have, like, rolled a flare gun and, like, shot the flare gun at the sniper and forced him to feel pressure. And that certainly would have been good, because he was, like, shooting from, like, ridiculously close angles to, like, get us. But otherwise, good game overall. We certainly were not at our best at that point. Ooh! Replay ended. I'll see you all next time.